Hi guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be another upstate house renovation and moving vlog. So much has changed since the last video that you guys saw. If you're following along on TikTok or Instagram, you've probably seen some of the updates more in real time, but we've gotten all of our wood floors nailed down, which has made the biggest difference. We've been more free to get furniture in here. We wanted to wait just because it can be such a hassle to move things out and around when you're doing all of your floors. Some pieces are new, some pieces came up from our apartment, and I think it's really starting to feel so much more like a home now, and I can visualize things. There's definitely still a lot of renovations and updates we want to make, but it feels more like a blank slate. So let's get into it. I'll show you what we've been up to. So this is what's currently happening in our dining room. You can see it's very white outside. It's been snowing quite a bit these past few days. So this is by no means a finished setup. I think it's really coming along. We just got this dining table delivered. It's a mid-century Danish teak table. It has two more leaves, so it can get really big in the space if we want to host dinner parties or holidays. I found it on eBay. The seller had a lot of good things and it came from California so fast. I would highly recommend. I'm gonna try to link sellers and websites that I like to look on below for you guys. I actually just gave it an oil so it is gonna dry out and not be so shiny like this. These are spaghetti chairs that I got on Craigslist in the city from a furniture seller. We have two of these here and then we're still waiting on some other dining chairs but for the time being, this is from Ikea. It was literally like $9. It fits the vibe. Definitely looks a little cheap, but it's been nice as a makeshift seat or side table. And then this is a bench that the sellers left here. I just bought some dye to try to dye this cushion that's on it. I just have a scarf on it for now. And then I want to try to get the wood to match this. And I'm not sure if it'll stay here once we get the dining chairs, but I think it's just always nice to have additional seating. I've been back into playing a lot of chess since we've been up here. I've gotten some questions on where this chess set is from, but it's quite old. It's Siggy's set. We don't really know. Then you guys might recognize this from the apartment. It's this 80s Columbo lamb. The style of this house is very 70s and 80s, so I've been trying to incorporate a lot of design pieces from that era as well. This week I want to measure these because we're going to be swapping out the covers for all of our baseboard heaters. I think we're gonna swap them to something black and a bit more modern. I feel like white might be a little too stark in this space and I think that'll make a big difference. The sellers left these skis and we haven't taken them off yet. I'm not hating them right now as much as I used to though. It's kind of interesting. We ran out of space on our bookshelf, so I've added some books up here. And this is one of our fireplaces. We need to get this fixed. It's not actually safe to use at the moment and that'll probably be a later project because our other fireplace is actually really great at heating the house and we've been using this so much if you guys have any tips on refinishing it though definitely let me know because i think it's really beautiful the top is just quite worn because it's pretty old but it's still in working condition i feel like maybe we could just replace this piece but you can see it's pretty like rusted out along the edges there's some snow more space for books i think eventually we want to cover this wall with a bit so shelving i mentioned this in other videos but the sellers left these three couches and we will be swapping them for something else they're quite dirty and kind of gross we'll probably give them out for free on craigslist this is a robert sonman lamp that we found a pair of on cherish that's down here i think it's so beautiful this also came up from my office the kitchen is still pretty rough that's gonna be probably a springtime summer renovation and i didn't even mention the floors so we went with a natural wood just because the cost of wood has basically skyrocketed. So this we're gonna refinish in the future so that the entire house can be cohesive. Wood that's pretty similar was already in some of the house. I think we'll likely make it darker. I definitely want it to look a little bit more worn. I really wanted to put reclaimed wood floors in the house. It would have been so insanely expensive and it was already pretty expensive to get these in. So we're saving some money here. It's the next day now and I'm just finishing up my morning routine and one of my new everyday habits that I've been incorporating for the past few months is taking my athletic greens. You guys have heard me mention them 
in other videos before i take my ag1 and some water every morning we're gonna have it together right now basically you store this in your fridge and you can mix it with a liquid of your choice I honestly like it best with just water. I definitely prefer some filtered cold water. Do a scoop in here and shake it up. I love AG1 because it really simplifies my routine. It replaces key health ingredients in one single scoop, one single drink. I found when I was focusing on taking several different vitamins that are included in this, there would just be so many days where I didn't end up taking them all because I didn't want to take a handful of pills in combination with other medications every morning. I was definitely skeptical about the taste before I tried this, but I actually really enjoy it. I drink this before my coffee every morning. So AG1 replaces nine health products together in one. This includes your multivitamin, multiminerals, pre and probiotics, immunity support, and more. It solves two of our most important health needs, including nutrients that we need every day and supporting our long-term gut health. This can impact everything from sleep to digestion, I definitely find my digestion to be much better when I'm drinking my AG1 every day. AG1 tastes great and feels even better. Even my dog is looking to have some. And essential daily routines like AG1 are a great way to stay committed to our health during the holidays. Athletic Greens actually has a really great offer for you guys. If you want to give it a try, you can tap the link in my description to get a free one-year supply of vitamin D drops and five travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. So I'm going to finish this and we're going to get back into the renovation content and doing more housework. shopping for the house this morning and I thought I'd walk you through some things that we've been getting. We're getting some new bathroom hardware for our guest bathroom that we've been DIY. So we're starting to swap out all of the door hardware. Right now they're like a shiny gold which just isn't my vibe. And some of our other hardware for the house from this place called Rejuvenation. More on the expensive side, it's where we got our cabinet hardware for our guest bath and I found some doorknobs on there that I really loved. I actually just went to order them and the shipping was $215. I said no to that and I found quite similar doorknobs on Home Depot that are about half the price as well with free shipping. And we're already placing an order on there for like a faucet and some other things. I thought why not just do a single order. So here's our Home Depot order. I wanted a more modern faucet for our guest bath. Right now it's quite old but I still wanted something simple. It's just a single hole so the options were a bit more slim. We're trying to keep the renovation in there relatively simple because we're going more all out on our main bathroom. Everything in there is still in working condition so it's really just swapping out cosmetic things. And then I've been having trouble in there with the toilet paper holder situation because what's currently in there is recessed into the wall so basically there's a giant hole in the wall behind the toilet paper holder and we've already done repairs on the wall and removes the wallpaper so i kind of don't want to get into that again and have to repaint so i've ordered a new recessed toilet paper holder in chrome definitely wouldn't be my first choice but you kind of have to make do with what you have. And then for doorknobs, we went with these black porcelain knobs. So they're a bit shiny, they're porcelain. They have an oil rubbed bronze back. So we had to order 10 knobs. Door hardware is really expensive. We're not doing our exterior hardware yet. We wanted a new trash bin with a lid for our guest bathroom because Laszlo loves to go digging through the trash. So it really has to have a lid. So we got this pedal bin and toilet brush holder. I'm gonna link this website below. I think they have the greatest stuff and they were doing a Black Friday sale. I also found this new vase for flowers for the house that I really loved. 
we have a vase from this brand in our apartment that I love, so I wanted to get a similar one just in a different shape. This is a little amber portable table lamp. Always nice to have for making things a little bit more cozy and you charge those. And then I've been noticing when we're cooking that I really want a little bowl or something for salt. So I got this salt and pepper set that I thought was super cute as well. Those are the current purchases. Today we're actually waiting on a new bed frame to come for our guest bed. We got super lucky and some of our friends that live up here were clearing out their guest bedrooms that they never really used and switching it to an office and they gave us two really nice mattresses for both of our guest bedrooms somehow we fit them into our jeep which that thing is already paying off it's been snowing and having the four-wheel drive is just so useful i don't know best twelve hundred dollars i've ever spent something else about up here is that there's not trash service which i kind of expected that for the country you have to do your own dump runs so having the jeep is really nice for that as well when we're moving and accumulating more trash than i would like to mainly recycling with boxes another thing that's kind of random that we've learned is that USPS doesn't even deliver to us here even though we're not that far from the post office UPS and FedEx will deliver here. I don't know if I've updated you guys on video We just released drop one of our new collection Some of the stuff sold out so quickly, but they're actually up for pre-order now All of our knit shrugs are up for pre-order if you'd like to grab one Might be the last restock that we do. I'm hoping to have the next drop before the holidays. city for a few days I need to do some work stuff I'm about to go pick up some packages and also do some shipping errands suddenly it's like 60 degrees in the city it doesn't really make sense I can't believe I'm just wearing a tank top and like a bomber jacket <laughs> I'm totally good I had a really nice dinner with my friend Sam last night we went to the crocodile I've never actually been there it's a French restaurant in Williamsburg it's in the White Hotel tonight I'm seeing my friend April just been trying to like jam pack my time but I'm in the city with social stuff to try to see all my friends that are here and this weekend my friend Charlotte and Arthur are coming to stay with us upstate doing Thanksgiving at our friends Cody and Scouts tomorrow and all of our dogs and I think it'll be really fun and they actually live upstate so we're gonna do that on our way back up tomorrow I need to run these errands though so. 